met, we actually went to high school together. Um, he was two grades older than me. She was really, you know, beautiful. And uh, I was like, I'm going to get to know this girl. I was in college. I was studying abroad in London, and he actually, like, Facebook messaged me while I was over there. I inboxed her on uh, Facebook while she was in London, which might sound kind of creepy, but it worked. Um, so then when I got back, we saw each other out a few times. It's kind of funny now, we can laugh about it, but he had asked me out once before, and I turned him down. <laughs> well, she said yes, but then she backed out on it. After that, I asked her out one more time again. And, and that time I said yes, and... We went to a friend's wedding and we hit it off. Had a great time and ever since then we've been together. Um, I don't think there's one specific moment when I knew. It was just kind of like an overall feeling like I knew I wanted to be with him. Um, I just never in my mind ever thought that we would not be together. So I just kind of knew he was the one. I mean, pretty early on, actually. So She made me feel like no other girl I'd ever dated or even been around. Just any time I wasn't around her, I wanted to be around her. And she just, she became my best friend, which I just kind of thought, you know, if my best friend's a girl, then I probably should, you know, marry her. I knew I loved her pretty early into the relationship. I don't know, I can't really put it all in words, but I just knew. It wasn't one thing she did, just the way she made me feel whenever I was around her. He always says, everything's going to be okay. I'm kind of like a stressor, and I'm a worrier, and I am always worried about something. And he's always, Lauren, it'll be okay. Calm down. Um, and I really like that. I feel like we really compliment each other in that way. And Her sense of humor, like her weirdness, because I'm weird. Everybody's weird in their own way, but I feel like we compliment each other. Like she she laughs at some of the things that, that I do that are probably a little weirder than other people and uh, and I laugh at her the same way and we're just we get along like that. We got engaged on his birthday um, it's in December so it had snowed actually and we had gone sled riding that day with some of his family it was really fun. And uh, I talked to her dad he 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 didn't want to hear that I mean he he loved that we were going to get married but he did, he don't like talking about that kind of stuff. And then he had a dinner plan we went down to dinner at Mitchell's Fish Market and then we went to the Festival of Lights in Cincinnati at the zoo. I just kind of thought it was going to happen. I would find this perfect spot out there, and there would be a moment that just called to me, and I was just going to propose, and it was going to be the most romantic thing ever. And I kept waiting and waiting, and it never happened. And we were walking around, and the park was getting ready to close. So we came to a spot where there were some lights hanging over top of us, and it was kind of like a narrow walkway. And I just told her to stop, and. I had something to tell her, and I just told her how much she meant to me, and got down on my knee, and she was like, is this happening, is this real? Is this for real? And I said, yeah, yeah, I want you to marry me. Spend the rest of your life with me. And he proposed. When I think about the wedding, like what I'm most excited about for the actual wedding is just, like walking down the aisle and seeing him. I'm very excited to like see his face as I come out those doors and see his reaction, and I'm just excited to start our lives together. He's my best friend, and I just, I'm excited for what life has in store for us. I'll pro I might cry. I I honestly might cry. I cried when uh, in the red fern grows when when the dog dies, and I cried with old Yeller. And I I'm not a crier, but when certain things jerk my chain, I cry. And I think I might cry when I see her. And I know she looks she always looks beautiful. And uh, I just think I'm gonna be overwhelmed with joy and I'm not gonna have really any control over my emotions, so but I'm not gonna say that I won't cry because it might happen. I won't give up oh, us even if the skies get rough I give it. Ben, I just want you to know that you are my best friend, and even though we may bicker and argue, um, at the end of the day, uh, we'll always love you, uh, we will always have a great future together, and can't wait for what's in store. Lauren, I'm going to put 100% of what I have into our relationship, our marriage, our future, hopefully being a father. I always want you to remember this time, like I remember this time, and and just think about that in the hard times because we both know they're going to come 
but we got to work through them together. I want this to be forever, and I just I want us to work at it no matter what. And I know it's going to take work, and I want you to know I'm going to work at it. If the skies get rough, I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up.